The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Happy Monday today, picking up where we left off yesterday. Just a few high level clouds out there, but plenty of sunshine over the Roanoke Valley as we give you that live look from our poor mountain sky cam. No issues out there today, just still very dry. We'll get to when we see rain here in just a little bit, but a little warmer this afternoon than yesterday by about three to five degrees. High temperatures low to mid 60s. But remember, if you're at work right now, you're at school. Bring that coat back. You'll need it first thing tomorrow morning. Evening temperatures even in the upper 40s and lower 50s. High pressure. That's going to be the main source of our weather. And let me tell you why that matters. With high pressure, the air sinks. You get that combination of cold mornings and mild afternoons. That sinking air also has a drying effect. So between now and Thursday, we're going to stay pretty dry out there, much like we've been over the past several weeks. Overnight, though, there you see temperatures back down to about 34 to 39 degrees. Then we're on repeat mode heading into tomorrow afternoon. Most of you between about 60 and 65 degrees. It is November, but it is still tropical season. We've got a couple weeks left to that. We've got a 60% chance of development uh, farther south of Cuba and Haiti. That system's not going to have any impact on us. There you see it mid to late this week. It's a separate storm that comes in from the west and gives us a decent shot of some rain heading into late Friday. Now this is not a drought buster by any means, but rain chances are forecast to increase, especially as we head later in the day. Forecast models right now hinting at anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to maybe an inch as you get closer to some of the higher elevations. I think that's a stretch at this point, but we need about four to eight inches of rain within a month to completely get rid of the drought. Last time we saw a quarter of an inch of rain, though, you have to go back to October 14th. Last time we saw half an inch to an inch of rain within one day, you have to go back nearly two months. So we're in desperate need of rain. We get that one shot Friday, and then it looks like as we head toward next Tuesday, maybe next Wednesday, another storm system comes in from west to east. Gives us a decent shot of some storms. Potentially cold by Thanksgiving, but most data keeping us dry on Thanksgiving Day. Keep in mind that's what nine or ten days away, so some things will change in the forecast data, and we'll keep you posted to those changes on air and online. Not much changing though here these next few days. Temperatures each morning starting out in the 30s, so we'll once again need the puffy coat, especially by Thursday morning. Wednesday afternoon though will be in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Thursday afternoon we get a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of a warm up ahead of that Friday rainmaker. There you see Friday afternoon and evening high 65, 60 to 65 and periods of shower. Some of those may linger into early Saturday morning. Otherwise, most of the weekend is dry before we see that other chance of rain coming in before Thanksgiving Day. So at the moment, that's something worth watching as we get ready to maybe head out and about. But for the time being, Thanksgiving Day uh, looks to be dry. Good for your plans, but man, we uh, we definitely need the rain. I feel like we've been saying that for the past few weeks now. Yeah, those 60s don't look bad. No, not at all. I mean, that's kind of what you would expect in yeah. mid-November. You know, it's kind of right in the sweet spot between hot and cold. We'll take it. Yeah, nice enough to have a ladybug in the studio. Oh, if you're wondering, nice. I was watching you very closely when you were walking over. I was like, do not step don't on a ladybug. Don't squish it. No, I was that like, would be bad luck. So Yeah, I know. So we'll, How you doing? we'll find his way out or her way out. We'll see you later today. We'll guide yeah, her, him nice. or her out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>